Greetings Bio 111 students. In this video I'm going to show you how to do the graph for the scientific method lab. As you can see I've entered my data for my two variables into the spreadsheet. First thing you want to do is click and drag to you select all your data. Go up to the menu bar and click on the insert tab. Then go over to where it says charts and click on the menu that says insert scatter. You'll get a drop down menu then click on the first option. Okay, now there's a couple things wrong with this graph already, so let's fix those. Notice that the axes aren't labeled. So what you want to do there to get the labels on there is go up to your menu bar again where it says Quick Layout. Click on that, and in the drop-down menu, select the first option. Okay, now we can enter our axes. So your x-axis is always your first column of data. So here you want to type in whatever your variable is, mine is standing height, and always remember to include your units. Then for the y-axis, that's always going to be your B column of data, so I'm going to put in leg length, because that's my variable, and of course my units. Now, the title needs to reflect the data in the graph, so I'm going to add to this standing height and the units versus leg length. Okay. Now the other thing to notice is that all of your data is clustered kind of in one area. That's not a good way to present a graph because you want your data to be spread out throughout the plot. So the way we're going to fix that is we are going to change the axis ranges. So we'll start with the x-axis. So go over to your A column and look at your data and find the lowest value. For me that value is 122 centimeters. Then next find the highest value which for me is 172 centimeters. So what I'm going to set my axis values to would be 120 for the lowest and 175 for the highest. So if you right click on one of your x-axis values, you'll go down to format axis on the menu and it'll bring up a sidebar here. So for my minimum, I'm going to type in 120. Again, for my maximum, I'm going to put in 175. Then you can just close this and it should fix it. Okay, now let's do the same thing for the y-axis. My lowest value on my y-axis is 58, so I'm going to pick 55. My highest is 87, so I'm going to pick 90 as my highest value. So right click again, format axis. Again, I'm going to pick 55 here, and then I'm going to pick 90. And it picked it for me, which is cool. Excel will often do that for you. Okay. Now, let's add the line. So since we're looking at a correlation here, what we're going to do is add what we call a trend line. That is a line through the data that's a best fit straight line. So what you'll do there is right click on one of your data points and select add trend line. And then it will give you, it'll automatically select the option you want, which is the linear value. So if it isn't selected, click on that and then just X out of your menu. And there you have your graph. And I just noticed I have a typo. So let's fix the typo. And that is your graph for the scientific method lab. 